Hi Scorpions, this is Marishi of my channel Triloka. I've already pulled out five cards to see what is the story which is coming through for this week. We've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse as your first card, Hierophant in reverse, Center of Reading as a Five of Cups. We've got the Three of Cups in reverse and the last card is a Judgment. Behind the deck is a Six of Wands in reverse. When I broke the deck, we've got the Eight of Cups. Okay, there is something else which is beeping. Yes, Ten of Cups in reverse. So, uh, someone has walked away, okay, and the whole situation pretty much seems very depressing, okay, for you right now. I might be speaking directly to the Scorpions or to the Cross Watcher, okay, just flip your characters according to your story. Uh, there is a very depressing vibe about your reading. Hmm? Uh, you don't like the energy you you are in right now. You don't like the situation you are in right now. You're not accepting the person who has walked away. You're not accepting the situation. Hmm? You're sitting and crying, okay, of what you've lost. There is so much regrets, so much disappointments, okay, in this reading. In regards to what has collapsed, what you had, Okay, what you have built together, this has come down. Okay, this has collapsed and you were not liking it. Okay, with the Nine of Pentacles as your first card, you are not liking your situation. You are not happy in this phase of your life, in this situation you're dealing with. You are not happy. You don't want to be single. You don't want to be apart from this person. You don't want to be separated from this person. You want this person to come back to you. Hmm? Uh, I see multiple energy. The reason for things to break down is a third party as well. Okay, With the Hierophant card up there and the Three of Cups. Okay, Both in reverse. I want to say the reason for this foundation which you had to collapse is because of a third party okay the judgment was made okay the verdict was made because of a third party influence hmm? it's almost like the verdict is made okay in regards to uh, how things are going to be from here on, in regards to the foundation which you had. What is the card behind that? Yes, six of wands in reverse. You're not getting the victory lap here. You, you're not going to have things go your way somehow. Remember, I might, I might be speaking directly to the cross watcher and not to the um, Scorpions. Scorpions might be the person who has walked away and this is um, the person who's not liking it might be the cross watcher. Where is the, where is the nine of pentacles now? Okay. Here. Yes, nine of pentacles, our friend. Judgment. So yeah, someone is not happy. Hmm? because of the other person walking away. They feel it very uh, difficult to deal with. This person is feeling it very difficult to deal with this um, situation. Even the person who has walked away is feeling um, it was a challenge to keep up with this person, if that makes sense. This person is coming out a little um, difficult as well. Maybe because they lost what they had. Hmm? When this person walked away, they lost what they had. They lost their relationship. They lost everything which they had. That might be the reason why, uh, yes, they lost this okay, um, stability, security which they had. Even with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. 
They lost everything which they had. It makes complete sense what I said earlier. And they absolutely cannot take it. Okay? They're not giving up. They're just not giving up because they're still waiting for things to come back. You know, this person to come back again. They are expecting this person to come back. Also, it seems like that's not happening with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. It seems like it's a complete dead end because someone has called, uh, someone has literally made it clear that it's over. We don't have anything to do with it. You are very much wanting to heal your heart. Okay? With the Five Cups in the center, I would say this person walking away it's like literally they push daggers in your heart you know, your heart is literally bleeding and what you expect is for them to come back into your life and only then will your heart heal yes you really want that you really want things to go your way things to get better with the sun card yeah you're very much determined hmm, to make it work i also want to say okay i'm just going to put it out there you don't really love this person anymore You don't have anything to give this person anymore. It's almost like, how could they do this to me? Hmm? Although you want them back in your life, do you really love them anymore? Because I doubt it now. Okay? You just want uh, the security. You just want to have that security, the stability which you had when this person was with you. That's all what you seek for with this person. You don't want to lose out. Even with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles, it's all speaking about the financial um, side of things. I want to say um, there is not much of anything else you feel for this person because the princess um, of cups again okay, the cups has drained out it's almost like you know within yourself you don't love this person anymore wow <laughs> sorry um, princess of wands in reverse that's why I spoke about if, if you remember when I pulled your cards I got this very depressing energy it's almost like very toxic as well. Hmm? You're not giving up. You know it is over, but yet, if I don't have it, if I don't have this person, this person cannot be anybody's el anybody else's. There's three of cups here. It's not going to make it easy for them. Although you don't have anything to offer this person, you are not going to, yeah, let them get away. You know your chances of having this relationship, okay, having this future with this person, even the Ten of Pentacles was in reverse, I guess. Anyways, so Queen of Pentacles was in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Cups, having the potential of having a family together, Again, it's not possible with all this reverse card next to it. Hmm? But yet you are determined. That's, that's the freaking energy. It's almost like you're not thinking. Uh, my, okay. It's almost like you don't want to see things as it is. You're fired up. There is an aggressiveness about your energy.
which is negative. Hmm? You're fired up because what are you seeing? Uh, what do you what do you what do you want? Is having them back in your life, but it's not with pure intentions. If you know what I'm trying to say, again okay, with. The Hamid Khan and Rivala, it's almost like you're looking at the whole thing. How it is easier for you. It doesn't mean, um, it doesn't matter that you don't love this person. It doesn't matter. That's not the priority here. Okay? Being in a relationship, people need to love each other. But in your case, what I see is, that's not of and that's not of any concern. That doesn't even have the least priority here. What is much more important is having the security. Hmm? Yes. You see every possible way to release yourself from the stuck energy. You don't want to be stuck anymore, okay? You want to release yourself, okay? And you're looking at the whole thing at a 360 degrees to see the loophole within the situation to get this person back in your life. And you, you're very fired up. You will do anything, okay? You're just going to charge in there and get what you want. Okay, you have made your decision. You might be doing things um, which might not be all that straight arrow, like you know, things you might regret. Hmm. Yeah, but what you seek for is having things come back to how it was you have paid okay how much ever it feels like this is the wrong thing to do for you it is not all that important you know it's almost like um there is always a borderline okay it might be a little invisible between what is right and what is wrong for you that line is faded okay it has blended together and you think it's all right now, okay? You think it's all right. It's almost like everything is fair in love and war. But here, there is there is no love. It's almost like everything is fair in life and war, okay? You're going out um, to war to get your life back. There is no love in the picture anymore. Hmm? Do I have to read more because I'm going to brush you up? Uh, wherever this is, please think it over. Okay? Maybe you have your own reasons. Because when I saw the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of uh, Cups, there might be an error, um, there might be children as well who is involved. You're very much a dement because you are thinking about the well-being of probably your children otherwise why would you do that to yourself why would you want to get back into a relationship get back somebody who has walked away who is dealing with the third party why would you want them to come back into your life otherwise hmm? are you willing to live under are the same roof with a person who doesn't love you or more importantly you don't love them why would you want that hmm? it's like punishing yourself punishing yourself it's like you want a second chance with this you know turning this hair front around rethink reassess okay I know you're going through a lot, okay? Yeah, yeah, you still can't get over it. You still can't accept, you know? 
you are being stranded because of someone else, the person who has walked away. There is an energy about feeling the shame and you, you're not willing to take that. You're going to turn things around. Hmm? I also want to say there might have been something about you as well. Okay, you're not all that into the clear. Okay, someone is regretting uh, because even with the Hierophant and the Three of Cups, and someone is like not just disappointed, there is regrets. Maybe they are the one who might have done something, which might be the reason why things have collapsed, why a relationship has collapsed. Hmm? It's up to you to decide. Who's very short reading? I don't think so. Yes, uh, it's talking about hanging in there. You just stuck in this energy. You don't want to move on from there. Hmm? Very adamant. Very adamant wanting things to go your way. Ace of Wands. Even when you know you're never going to have it. You're never... Uh, there is not much of a possibility to make things go your way. You're still very, very adamant. Stick, standing your ground. This is what I want, so that's how it's going to be. However, the probability of things going your way is next to nil. It's next to impossible. You're still very adamant. Okay? You've lost a chance. You've lost that chance with this person. Okay, but yet you want to start over again. What you're wishing for is you want to start over again. Even if the horse is dead with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, even if there is no opportunity, okay, to have this, you know, going again, you're still very optimistic. Okay, Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. I want to say, ooh. King of Swords as well. I want to say, you're not all that bitchy, okay? No, you're not all that crazy, wild or anything, no. It's just your situation has pushed you to being like this, to being desperate, okay? The way, when I asked you to reassess the way you're thinking about your situation, why you want such a person to come back into your life, Losing something which you had is pushing you, okay, to be, you know, you, you you can't think straight with the high priestess. I'll come back to these two guys. You can't think straight because it's almost like your heart and your mind is tugging at each other. And you cannot, um, you know, because your heart is hurt. Heart is here. Okay, heart is hurt. Okay. And your mind is like literally confused. You want this so badly. But then you lost it. That is a reason why you don't want to listen. Okay, with the high pieces, you don't want to listen um, and make a fair, um, wise choice about your situation. Because you're tugging between the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Heart over mind. Okay? Because of how much you have been hurt, that makes you not want to, or wanting to see things as it is. The clarity is clouded now, and you don't want to listen to your inner self. Like I said with the, in the very beginning, with the Nine of Pentacles, you're not willing to accept it. You're not willing to let go. Accept the fact that this person has moved. Yes, this person has walked away. This person has just walked away, is done with the Two of Cups. 
you can't just take it. And you're pretty much ah, losing faith over this situation. Okay? In regards to what you had once upon a time. You're literally, you know, hoping for some miracle to happen, but then you're like, you know, how? They don't want to be with me. How would it work otherwise? They walked away. You juggling, you sitting and juggling, okay? You know, how to get them back, you know? You're finding it very difficult to move, move on with your life. It's a very uh, challenging, okay, to let go of everything and move on. It's getting difficult for you. Yes, move on, look into the future. Because you're still stuck about the injustice, what has happened to you. You feel very much wronged. Remember when I said, there is not, you want that person back in your life, but then you don't have anything. There is no love factor. You just feel you were wronged and you want, it's almost like a revenge. How could, how could they do that to me? How could they just dump me? Okay, you might have been in a marriage. Okay, this person might have gone, um, you know, got gotten involved with another person and then he has worked away, he or she has worked away. And now it's all about your pride. How could they do that to me? I'm not going to let go of them easily. I'm not going to have, you know, let them live their life and they've screwed up my life. It's almost like you're losing your shit with the emperor in reverse. Yes, Emperor in reverse and the Ace of Swords. You're not thinking straight because everything is all about, you know, you want to move on, but you cannot move on because you're stuck with what has happened to you. Hmm? You keep thinking about how they have wronged you. How much unfair it was to you. That is why you can't think straight. Hmm? How was it? Um... We've got the Emperor, oh. Ace of Swords, okay, yeah. not thinking it's right. It's all about, you know, how much, we had so much together. When we were, to, when we were together, we had so much good times. There was so much love. How could they do that to me? How could this person do that to me? How could they wrong me like this? Hmm? It's, it's stressing you out. Just thinking about, you know, what was going on behind your back. What they did to you is, you're literally losing your sleep over this. You li you're losing your mind over this. That is why it is difficult for you to move on, to take charge of your life and explore what is there because you're still stuck okay with something which has collapsed just like a half in reverse okay the foundation which you uh, which has collapsed you're still stuck in that place you need to get out of it 23 minutes so uh, a depressing reading trust me I did not like it one bit any um do we have any advice card for scorpions uh, I don't do this for many just for you guys scorpions what is that what is advice for them yeah what is advice for the scorpion Okay. Um, magician in reverse first card. You got the two of swords. It's time to make a decision. Already. Okay. You need to pull it together. Okay. To make this decision. Because everything is clear. Okay. Whatever you want to know about the situation is 
crystal clear for you. Nothing is hidden. You know exactly what you need to do. Okay? It's not like you're blinded or anything. You need to come out of that, um, you know, that delusion which you have. That this person is going to come, uh, come back to you. Or even wanting them to come back to you. You need to get out of that. Okay? Don't do um, um, anything uh, which is like, you know, going out of the boundary. Okay? When I told you about right and wrong, you're forgetting the boundary line. Okay? About what is right and wrong. Do not. Do not do that. Okay? Because you're coming out as a magician in reverse. You know, if you have all that within you to, you know, get this person back, you're investing so much energy into something negative. Rather, invest it in yourself. Make the decision to move on with your life. Okay? Because you know exactly what needs to be done. Okay? The world is in reverse, okay? You know exactly, okay? That things are upside down. And it, ne it can never be fixed how much ever you try to juggle it. How much ever you try to juggle it. All you need to do is, you know, um, have the courage to embrace yourself. How much ever unstable you feel within your situation. It doesn't matter. As I said previously, some of you might be financially a little distressed, okay? Yeah, how much ever it is like, you know, you feel like you, you have lost, let go, let go. Don't fight it, okay? Just, just over the Ten of Pentacles, just let go. So your advice is to, you know, invest in yourself and make this decision, okay? And you know what exactly needs to be done with the moon card in reverse. Get out of the delusional vice and do what is right for you. I'll stop here. This is Marisha, you my child. Until next week, bye.